Designers improve the world by reshaping the world around us. Uh, that could mean better homes or simpler products or services that are shaped around real people's needs. Sometimes we're improving what exists, but sometimes we need to imagine something entirely new. Problems so often persist because our existing approaches aren't working, and yet it can be really hard to generate better ideas and put them into practice. Design challenges help create those better ideas and accelerate their path to success. Five years ago, infection was a major problem in this country, and the NHS has done a wonderful job in reducing the amount of MRSA and C. difficile that we currently have today. However, there's still a lot of avoidable infections and they cost somewhere in the region of a billion to two billion pounds a year. In 2008, Bristol-Made were looking to redesign our bedside um, furniture equipment. Our designers that were working at the time, Kinea Dufour, um, approached us with um, an idea of actually entering the design uh, for Bugs Out challenge with the design council. The brief was to look at the bedside cabinet, just basically make the whole product um, functionally better for the staff to clean and use. The new bedside cabinets, they're much easier to clean, they're made of polymer, they come in one piece, cut down on nooks and crannies. That frees up more time for us, more time to spend with the patients, which is better for everyone. We've made 3,500 cabinets to date, uh, 1.4 million pounds worth of sales. Um, it's been a very, very good product for Bristol Made, um, and also a very good product for the NHS. The success of the bedside cabinet um, sparked an innovation program that generated two more easy clean um, products in the range. Um, these products have now totaled almost three million pounds worth of sales. We've um, shipped product to um, Australasia, America, Oman, Bahrain, and also into Europe as well. The bedside cabinet is a superb example of how getting the right people to think about the, the challenge delivers a perfect Alzheimer's and dementia poses a huge challenge for our social care and health services. By 2021 in the United Kingdom we would expect that there will be over a million people will have been diagnosed with dementia and one in three people over 65 will have a diagnosis. There are three main ways for people with dementia that dogs can support people and that can be underpinning routines making sure people have got their exercise and they're connected to the communities and just the love, companionship and joy dogs can bring to people's lives. My name's Frank Benham and this is my lovely wife Maureen Benham. About two and a half years ago we went to the doctors and read a few tests and eventually a consultant diagnosed that Maureen had early stage dementia. For us working in social care, actually going to somewhere like the Design Council, that is not in our comfort zone, but having that space and others you know, round about, it gives you another way of thinking. So it's a really unique opportunity for us. Since we've had the dog, I thought, I'm going to live without him. Every single day we've been out walking with the dog, so that's a health beneficial right away. I think it's amazing. Walk on. In this early stage of the pilot, we're already seeing tangible benefits from the families that we're working with. The dogs have already brought the love, companionship and joy elements into the family's lives. Things around about the emotional anchoring and the supports that are happening have just been beyond our imagination. Oscar gets morning up for the alarm system and also when the tablet buzzer goes, it brings the medicine bag, places in morning so in morning knows she has to take her medicine. So that, that takes away of my mind. I think it's marvellous. I think that the interest that has been, you know, the media interest and the interest for others has definitely brought in other funding. I think this project has incredible potential to change people's lives. The ageing population is a big issue. You know, big in terms of the number of people that it affects. Um, almost a third of the population will be over 50 by 2020. That's about half of the adult population. The amazing is essentially a marketplace for people that are over 50 to share their knowledge and skills and passions. What we're really doing here is connecting people. Uh, and particularly we're really interested in connecting people across different generations. We've got everybody from a joiner to a guitarist to a loom knitter to an orator. You can browse those profiles and you can book yourself on a class or a course. We think design thinking and user-centred design thinking is really important in creating services that people really want. And that really chimes with the values and also the experience that the Design Council have brought um, as partners on this project. Social isolation I'm very aware of um, from 
uh, the estate where we have our community workshop and uh, when I saw what the Amazons were doing I thought great, fantastic, it's one solution that could go some way to uh, resolving the problems with isolation, particularly among older people. The Amazons is developing really well and we're really pleased. We've got hundreds of elders that want to learn, we've had thousands of people who have been on the class, we've done over 120 classes in the last three months. We've shared almost 400 hours of wisdom. I sew every day, I design every day, and uh, yeah, it really feels like a new chapter in my life. For the past five years, we've worked with more than 50 organisations to create innovative products and services that are out there in the real world, making measurable, positive impact on real lives.